There has and is no shortage of Jewish comics, though some embrace that heritage, while others don't really utilize or even acknowledge it in their comedy. One stand-up comedian who digs deeper than most of his contemporaries into the nuances of Jewish life, even the religious side of it, is Modi Rosenfeld, who really mines his Jewish roots for big laughs in his live stand-up, in TV appearances, and now popular Modi Live TikTok channel. Here's a taste of that. Sephardic people, they love their rabbis, huh? You must love your rabbi. Oh, they, this rabbi is special. <laughs> this rabbi, he know Torah. He know the Gemara. He know all the books. We love this rabbi. Ashkenazi, what a schmuck. <laughs> what a, why is he in the board meeting? He's just a rabbi. And you should know of a rabbi than he'll ever be. It's easier to go out with a non-Jewish girl, right? The things you can do with a non-Jewish girl, you can't do with a Jewish girl. You can say to her, Christina, that's their names. I'm giving you one rose because you're the only one for me. Like, oh my God, he's so sensitive and sweet. It's because he is Jewish. Pull the same stunt on a Jewish girl, honey. I'm giving you one rose because you're, so you're giving me one rose because you're too cheap to buy 11 more is why you're giving me one rose. Oh my God, that when the queen died, when the queen died, her funeral, I couldn't turn the TV off. <laughs> Doug, you got to understand something. When Jews die, we bury, bam, right away. There's no messing around. You're dead 24 hours in the ground. It's a good idea because it's not going to get any better. <laughs> In South Florida, when the old Jews take a nap, they wake up, no! Put the shovel away, it's just a nap! We don't mess around! And joining us now from New York, from New York is Israeli-American stand-up comedian, Modi Rosenfeld. Modi, thanks for joining us. I should explain, you were born in Tel Aviv, but you were actually raised on Long Island in the same neighborhood, the five towns I grew up in. But briefly about your background, because that plays a bit, uh, quite a bit in your comedy. It's, you're absolutely right. Born in Israel, and uh, we moved uh, to to New York when I was seven years old. And I have never heard a heavier New York accent than yours. <laughs> it's gotten worse since I've been in Israel. I have you. I have just for the viewers to know. I have you in my ear. I can't see him, but it, it sounds like I'm in the back of a taxi in 1970. <laughs> it's that's how strong your accent is, and I love it. Uh, but what about your background? Uh, growing up uh, on Long Island, a religious background. More traditional. We, we were Israeli. We spoke Hebrew in the house, but uh, we had all the options to, to know all the types of Jews in the world. And then um, I, I went to yeshiva, so I, I, I learned uh, there, and, um, and I just observe all the Jewish communities that, I, I, that I'm in, and I bring it into my stand-up. Right, but let me ask you about that decision, because many, there are many Jewish comics. Many have also have had traditional backgrounds, but you made a decision to utilize it in your comedy. Talk about that decision, and did you find, was there some resistance to it from, say, managers and things? Um, you know, actually there was. Uh, at first, I would, uh, people would actually say, say to me that you have an accent, you should try to f work on it and, and make it uh, more, uh, you know, so there shouldn't be a Jewish accent in it, and um, and then I just, but I just, when you, when you begin doing comedy, you begin to develop a voice, and my voice was just Jewish, and I was working in a lot of Jewish uh, environments, and um, it just was me, it just became me, so I... Uh, I embraced it, and, and and you know, when you're true to your audience, uh, others follow as well. Well, let so, me tell you. Let me ask you about your audience, because that is that is so specific about different rabbis, Ashkenazi, Sephardi. How do Jewish audience react, and how do are there non-Jewish audiences that can laugh at that and relate with that? Well, look, my uh, my theme and my mo 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 motto is know your audience. The name of my special that's coming out is know your audience. Um, and you have to feel the room. You have to see what kind of people. Is it is it a, a strictly Hasidic a group I'm performing for where there's a machitza in the middle? Or is it um, uh, Reform Jews who are who don't know that much about, you know, j jokes that are like about the Torah and things of uh, like the, the Siddur and, uh, and, and, and prayers and things of that sort. And when 
there's non-Jews in the audience, it's an opportunity to even explain to them what I'm doing. So it all depends on the audience. Right. Are there Jewish topics that you would consider out of bounds to go too far uh, or, or simply would be, uh, could be offensive to some? Absolutely not. As long as it's done right. It's the way you deliver the joke. It's, uh, there's no topic that's not, uh, that, 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 you, that you can't make into, into something funny and bring light into it. I have a whole thing I do about Holocaust museums. I have a thing I do about shivers. I have a thing I do about things that you'd think, how could you make jokes about this? But it, it's actually, it's, it's amazing. It's A, you're teaching people about it. B, you're bringing knowledge about it. And, um, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's a great way to inform people who are Jewish and not Jewish about Jewish topics. Right. Modi, if I can ask, you've come out, which is no big deal in this day and age, uh, but you do some material, uh, and in fact, some Orthodox Jewish, uh, you have some Orthodox Jewish fans and audiences. Has that impacted on who you can play to in your, in your, in your comedy? Th th thank God it hasn't. Uh, people are looking, uh, are booking me still in Orthodox circles and in, uh, in, not, in not Orthodox circles and of course in non-Jewish circles, especially when uh, the, the article came out in Variety. Um, it, it opened up more, gate, more people to, to, my, to, to my audience. And, um, and again, it's, uh, it's, it's know your audience. Everything that's appropriate for whatever's in the room is what I do. So right. it's... It's, it, was a, it wasn't a, a, a hump to get over. Well, I hate to put you on the spot, but everybody has their favorite Jewish joke. Do you have a favorite Jewish joke or bit you want to give us now? My favorite Jewish joke? Uh, one of my favorite Jewish jokes is um, a 90-year-old man marries a 60-year-old woman on the wedding night. She says to him, Irving, come upstairs and make love to me. Irving says, I can't do both. <laughs> that, well, that is, that is a good one. Marty Rosenfeld, we hope to see you in Israel and maybe in our studio here on Jewish World Weekly. I will be in Israel. I will be in Israel in Sukkot, and, uh, and I have a whole bunch of shows there. And I would love to hear from everybody, and you can see whatever shows I have on modilive.com, M-O-D-I-L-I-V-E.com, and uh, Instagram, modi underscore live. Thank you for having me. All right, Marty Rosenfeld, thank you for joining us.